Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial in this uh, second part of the series we'd be you know continuing our work and we'd be creating uh, the button which we have left off in the last video and if you, you know go through all the different aspects of this video probably you don't even need to watch any other video on components because we'll be covering almost each and every properties of the components which you know uh, would be helpful in creating uh, you know the fantastic components and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that is you know uh, going to give us a lot of energy in creating you know uh, the amazing content and uh, the bell icon is not for me it is for you guys because uh, if you are hitting that bell icon you would be you know uh, getting notified with all our future uploads so it is for yourself and not for me so don't forget to hit the bell icon as well and uh, let's continue with the video in previous video we have created this button and where uh, we have created the components for the icons uh, and we have created properties for instance wrapping you know the icons on the both hand side and then we have created a text property right so where we can swap the button text uh, uh, of the instances of the component right so uh, let's quickly you know uh, see what we have created so far so basically you know we can uh, go ahead and change the icon we can uh, you know uh, simply type in the text okay and uh, our uh, text will be automatically updated to the components okay so now uh, what we have to do now is you know basically we need to make sure that we are easily you know toggling the icons because it is not always we need both of the icons right so so basically our component should have you know capabilities where we can easily toggle the left and right icon right so let me just take it back to the icon one uh, just for testing okay uh, well also uh, what I'll be doing you know before setting up the switches I'll just you know uh, give the height as well or better uh, actually I'll, I'll give you know a minimum height uh, rather than you know add a minimum height of let's say 42 pixels for now okay so uh, also we'll give the minimum width as well and which is a uh, minimum width of 42 pixels right Uh, why do we need minimum width and minimum height guys because uh, i'll uh, reduce the minimum width definitely but uh, uh, we'll will you know figure out what numbers we uh, will need for that for height it is uh, definitely you know uh, the button height which you want to be at least of you know the uh, actually why do we need minimum height when we you know toggle off both of the icons or you know, when we remove both of the icons it will automatically reduce the height of the component and we don't want that behavior because that will be you know creating a juggling uh, component so we want to avoid that that's why we'd be adding the minimum height uh, to the component and width is basically if your text is you know uh, lower than a certain uh, amount then probably you should be having a minimum width but uh, I'll, you know minimum width uh, as of now I'll prefer to have 42 pixels only uh, okay sorry I changed the width Yeah, so I'll be having minimum height and minimum width uh, around you know 42 pixels. So when you know uh, basically you uh, toggle off your text and you are just uh, creating the icons only button in that case you know uh, you should be able to uh, have a nice you know square button right. So that's why we are adding minimum width and minimum height to the component. Now let's create the switches uh, basically we'd be creating you know. Uh, toggle property or okay the boolean properties uh, for the component and to create the boolean properties you have to select the objects or the layers which you want to you know toggle based on the switch uh, and you know cl click on this create a boolean property button uh, you know sometimes it becomes a bit difficult to find this uh, particular you know button uh, so i always you know look for the layer uh, in the design panel and then you can simply you know find it next to the layer so just click on it and then give it a name uh, probably you know show icon left okay and I'll keep it true by default because most of the time we'll be having buttons with the icon on the left hand side okay and I'll select the uh, another icon uh, the right icon and I'll create same you know uh, property this time uh, let's create you know show icon right and by default uh, it should be 
false why because uh, we'll not have both of the icons visible at the same time right so let's create it uh, we might need uh, you know uh, two icons in a button uh, sometimes where you know we have a icon which represents you know what is the use of this button and then probably that is a drop down or you know there are nested actions in that button in that case we need both of the icons uh, together but that is not a rare uh, uh, that is not you know a very frequent scenario so that is going to be happen very rarely so in those cases we can definitely come back here and you know uh, change the visibility of both the icons right and now if you see uh, i have you know uh, basically reduced the uh, i sorry i have basically uh, toggled the visibility of both of the icons and my height is you know uh, still it is maintaining the 42 pixels of the height okay now i'll just uh, i'll just create one more property for the text as well now i'll select the text and then i'll create a layer property and uh, create a property this is going to be show text okay and by default we'll keep it true because most of the time our buttons uh, will be with the text okay so now let's test this uh, i'll first hide the icon and then i'll hide the test text uh, sorry uh, the icon uh, yeah i'll hide the uh, text as well where it is uh, show text so now you can see my button only has you know an icon where it is uh, taking the minimum height and minimum width of 42 pixels because uh, you know we don't have any other uh, components or any other layers in the button so now you have created you know a button which has a lot of dynamic properties so basically you can change the visibility of you know uh, your components uh, and just by you know switching on of the switches on the right hand side you can swap the icons right uh, very quickly and you can you know change the text as well in the button so with this you know you can uh, create very fancy and very you know lightweight button component that can be further extended to the uh, you know different states uh, so now let's you know create uh, the state as well uh, so state as in you know the primary and secondary versions so generally you know uh, primary and secondary uh, i prefer to have you know two different components and then you know uh, swap them uh, as and when uh, you know as and when required because if you try to create you know uh, primary and secondary and as well as you know the disabled also or you know the whole state also it becomes some sometimes you know a bit difficult so uh, let's create the whole state in this component and then you know probably i'll uh, just you know stop uh, the series here because uh, with this you know you would be understanding how to create a button how to add you know properties to it and how to create uh, states for the button okay so now let's create a hover state uh, very quickly here so for creating a hover state we need definitely an instance swap property right because uh, that is going to be an instance of the uh, this component okay so let me just you know uh, click on this plus and i'll create instance swap this time or i can create a variant okay uh, we'll be uh, swapping the variants only so i'll create a variant and uh, i'll give it a name okay uh, state oops s t a t e okay and uh, this is going to be my default state this is going to be my hover state on mouse hover let's you know uh, probably slightly change the color uh, maybe something like this and probably change the line color as well okay a little bit now let's create the interaction so basically one quick tip guys uh, if you hit shift e basically you can toggle between you know design and prototype tab so make sure you know keep uh, this <laughs> very handy shortcut uh, you know always with you because it is very uh, you know quick to uh, shuffle between design and prototype modes uh, easily if you are working you know uh, on the interactions so let's uh, quickly create the interaction and this is going to be uh, while hovering okay uh, guys there is another cool tip you know uh, you may uh, probably you know use while hovering or you may also uh, think about mouse enter events because while hovering is you know sometimes it becomes difficult where you have to you know create a click as well as you know a hover interaction in that case you uh, find it a bit difficult to create uh, you know those complex interactions so in those cases you can have you know mouse enter interaction and then uh, on mouse enter we can have the change to and then that could be a smart animate uh, it is up to you so uh, on change to that is going to be you know change the state to hover 
and we'll be creating an interaction where again it is going to be mouse leave on mouse leave it will go back to the default state okay so now let's just you know test this uh, in the frame oops sorry let me test this here uh, I don't have any starting point okay so now if you see you know when we hover basically it uh, changes the color uh, you know of the button because I'm hovering on it okay and now if I try to create an on-click interaction you know I should be able to create the on-click interaction as well because the way we have you know designed it uh, it basically is you know with a mouse enter uh, event right so if you see you know when I add on click and I can have anything navigate to or you know scroll to or any other interactions but you know those interactions should be working fine uh, if you let's say you know uh, I'll, I'll show you what if you know we do it uh, with the instead of you know mouse leave uh, let's say if we do it uh, uh, probably I'll go here I'll keep that interaction as it and for this I'll say you know while hovering okay and now if I, if I go to this uh, component you can see you know uh, my click interaction will not work because first it will trigger the hover interaction and then uh, you know it will trigger the click interaction so to avoid those you know glitches what uh, we should be doing is you know wherever we want to have the uh, hover uh, kind of things and uh, we also want a click we can you know go ahead with the mouse enter events also guys you know uh, there are very you know cool things with the mouse enter event probably you know uh, we may create a different video but uh, we are already here so basically you know you can add and delay as well let's say you know you want to create a effect where you know when you take your mouse to a uh, to an object in your frame and you know then you want to trigger something uh, basically you know after a certain amount of time then you can do you know after delay and then probably uh, you may set the variables or you know the all those fancy things you can do uh, just by you know <coughs> mouse enter event okay so uh, rather than just you know having after delay probably you know sometimes where you know uh, you want your prototype just to be executed when you know my uh, cursor is on a particular object uh, and you know then you cannot use after delay in those cases so uh, you may have you know mouse enter and then you can add a delay so with that you know you can have uh, both of the uh, uh, basically interactions or uh, kind of merge after delay and mouse uh, inter interactions together okay so uh, I hope uh, we are you know good to go ahead uh, I guess uh, Yes, so most of the things we are done here uh, probably you know I don't think any 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 other things uh, those needs to be covered here because now if you you know see if you add a uh, lengthy text let's let's just you know do it let's just uh, hide the icon right for now okay and let's try to adding a longer text uh, uh, that should be working fine test the button with a longer text okay this button is you know uh, responsive and adapting to the content which uh, we have in it uh, what if you know we remove the entire content you know that should be automatically adopting and it is uh, you know uh, giving that extra padding because we have removed the text not the text layer from it so you know you can again come back and add the text and if you don't want to show the text at all definitely you have this uh, show text switch which you can go back and you know uh, toggle the visibility of it i hope guys you are enjoying the video and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it because that will keep you updated with all our upcoming content and yes uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up or you know the like button because that will motivate us to keep creating this fantastic content for you and yes uh, till the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing